Welcome back to Blue's Garden. This is my early July update and also some seed planting. So end of June, I did a quick little second planting. I sowed some seeds and I probably sow basil about every three weeks or so. I cook with it a lot, basil and oregano, and I grow a lot of oregano and cook with basil and oregano. So I replant it often. Uh, sow the seeds regularly, and then I also sowed some Black Beauty zucchini. I put in three more plants. Uh, I'm redoing zucchini because by the time end of July comes, my first planting of zucchini and golden zucchini will be done. The plants will be exhausted, and I like to have another batch to go when I pull those old ones out. That's the golden zucchini and regular zucchini. I also do a few more um, Roma tomato. Those are a determinate, and at a certain point, usually end of July, they're done. So I have some seeds going, little seedlings ready to go in, and some moon bean. Um, the stuff I plant is usually 50 to 60 days before germination. These moon bean cherry tomatoes are about a 60 day and between germination and first harvest. Um, I also put in another batch of cucumber. I did two Purcell, which is six seeds, but I will uh, probably only take the three healthiest of those plants. And lettuce. I seed lettuce similar to the herbs every three weeks anyway. Pretty steady. Um, I don't show every time I seed them. It's watered everything in all the seedlings. Last year, I got so few hydrangea. Happy 4th of July. Earlier in spring, in my geraniums that I overwintered, I found a rabbit nest on my front porch. And then... Uh, right after 4th of July, here's that four-tiered, that purple geranium that's on the top tier. Seems to have survived both winter and the rabbits. They're gone. This is my zinnia update. I planted them in February, late February, early March. And um, as you'll see here, they're just about starting to pop. I suspect in a week or two... I'll have tons of little flowers. Last year, this hydrangea had a total of three blooms on it that were in September. And this year, tons of them. Um, that was that late freeze that killed off all the early blooms. And that was late February, early June, uh, early March. And this year, even the lace cap is looking amazing. Lace cap hydrangea, my other three hydrangeas, and then one out on the corner here. Um, in the rose campion out front. And some coneflower. And a little buddy hanging out on the coneflower. Can't say I blame him. These will end up with a whole bunch of thistle seed that the uh, goldfinches love when these seeds start to die back. I got a ton of goldfish coming here, having at it. This is the hydrangea out front. Again, out of the five or six plants, I had three total blooms last year. This is another one of my overwintered geranium. Along the front walk, I have a bunch of little lavender planted, three or four on each side of the walkway. Now over to the vegetable garden, and that's the last of the garlic in pots on the left. These are tomatoes and squash you can see in the background. The onion got chomped. Some of it got completely eaten, and I pulled, that's the Utah yellow that more is, I mean, there's 
should be 20 plant uh, 20 or so uh, onions in there over in my peas another warren rabbit warren and they just munch the peas about six inches above the ground after a weeding end of june early july another batch of straw mulch on top to mulch it helps to keep the temperature down as well as retain retain some moisture keeps the weeds out keeps the temperature down helps retain some moisture in all the pots these are our tray tomatoes blueberry black and these are some roma tomatoes you'll see them later on these are the brussels sprouts a little bit of nibbling going on and these are some squash and zucchini with the romas out front uh, if you dig around in the squash you see lots of them coming in butternut squash along the back fence some mushroom basket tomato these are giant crimson got quite a few fruit on there and I'll be picking lots by the end of the first week of July a lot of romas ready these are the romas that I will replace um, I take the old onion out, uh, the ones that were just completely devastated. I will be using, even though they're really tiny little bulbs and just little bits of green, I will be making a pot roast, in fact, uh, on Friday. By the time this video comes out, it'll I'll probably be last Friday. I make the pot roast. I'm going to do it over a big open fire in some cast iron pots. And once I've removed all the bulbs and the green, uh, I've got seven of those 25-gallon grow bags worth of onions. Some of them made it. I replant in here some carrots and some beets. So this is the little broadcasting of some Danvers 125 carrots, or Danvers 126 carrots, sorry. And some Formosa beets. Now, every time I try to get beets, I end up with the rabbits eating the beet greens. But I'm going to end up putting a small cage around this entire thing. Hopefully that'll save them. I'd like to see some beets for a fall harvest. There's the sweet potato and a second sweet potato. One of them, the rabbits went in and had a little fun. Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me grow, and that helps you grow.